Hello awesome people, what is going on? It is Brad Fusion here and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers Ascension. So, in the last episode we focused on combining the Primeters with the Arg section of the station here. And we have started building on the interior here, adding a few more refineries. Now, admittedly I'm going to have to grind down the ones in the Primeters section of the station. I'm just going to call it, yeah well I mean I'll, I'll call it by what you guys know it by, Primeters, Arcs and the Somnus just so we can easily refer to certain areas of the ship. So we will have to grind down stuff from in the front here. I just kind of wanted to build stuff at the back there just to make sure we had everything all right, even though I did use some new resources to get some pieces done. But that being said, I know I can just get rid of the ones up here. Now we have to make sure that these don't have anything inside of them. So what I'm going to have to quickly do is just look through here and just see what the refineries have, uh, which they do have a fair amount of stuff actually. Which is quite surprising. So we'll take these and we'll put them inside of... Um, can we not access the... Oh, hang on, because I'm searching refineries. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Uh, we'll put these inside the assembler. I know it's a bit of a weird place to put these, but at least the assemblers can store them whilst I remove them from existence. Well, I can't stick inside of that anymore. Um, is there any place where we can actually stick this? Actually, what we can do is we can stick you... Oh, no, we can't stick inside the small reactor because they're not connected. Uh, no, I, I mean, as I thought they were. Uh, so that being said, we don't really have anywhere else that we can actually store the other stuff. So we'll just have to grab them out manually. So we'll just put them inside of our inventory for now. At least what is left of them. Uh, and this one here has a bit as well. And actually what we can do is we can just sort in the other refineries. Uh, we'll just gotta quickly run over there and store them inside of there. So we have to grind down the gate as well. Uh, which is also kind of in the road. I forgot I built that up into the actual side party that where we can't really access much of it but we can access this so at least we have that going for us um we, we will store the rest of our stuff quickly inside of scar here so we don't have to worry too much about um capacities and whatnot uh do we have space we have space we have plenty of space okay there we go and we'll grab out um the rest of what we currently can access so yeah, my apologies for this uh, series kind of slowing down. I've been kind of changing my focus a little bit more lately. Uh, the fact that I've been busy as well uh, kind of doesn't really help much. But I've been, at least lately, I, I've this series itself, it's not to say it's dying. I, I enjoy doing it, but I'm currently working on the next series itself. Uh, the, the next season or series that follows this one. Um, because as much as I want to continue this one, I kind of want to move on to that one, because that one, to me, is more interesting and more enjoyable, so I'm not too sure how to actually end this one in particular. I mean, I know a certain way to end it, but I don't know if I should really do it this like, the way I'm thinking. So, whilst I want to move on to the next series, I'm still currently working on it in a, in a, in a way, and I can't really spoil much by saying that, but... I, I'd be more so focusing on getting that built and ready than focusing on continuing this series. So for that, I do want to apologize. I've been trying to put a lot of time and effort into the next series itself, which is why, again, you guys haven't seen much for this one. Uh, that is it for these refineries. So these ones can now be actually taken down. So let's start grinding these down, shall we? Actually, we can use the... Sh uh, hmm. I was going to use Skara, actually, but... Um, actually. Uh, <laughs> let me grind down the gate here, actually. Uh, before we do that, we'll grab this out. I'm going to try, in this episode, to no longer say the word actually, after that actually. I mean, uh, there we go. So that is now grind down, awesome. We'll put some of the resources inside of, I guess inside one of these containers for now. It's, it's, no, it's no big deal that we store it inside of here. And then we'll, um, we don't really need to build another gate. We can build more DHDs, given that we might need some in the future. But for now, we'll grind these down. And, uh... That should fill up my inventory pretty fast, I believe. Like such. And we left with a few more steel plates. Okay. So you come back over here. Whoop. Also, someone asked uh, someone asked me the other day why I called the, the ship Skara. Uh, why are you not going in here? Oh, because it's a refinery. I can't store stuff in that completely. Uh, we'll need to find... Uh, I guess I could use Skara somewhere. Yeah, someone was asking why I called Skara, Skara, uh, w w you know, with a S and then a K, a S and a C. Um, it's a mix between two names. It's mixed between Kara, which came before Skara, uh, the previous ship that got lost through going through a gate, and is that my inventory at all? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, that and a mix between a character from uh, Stargate One or SG One. Sorry. Which, I find it was a nice mix. I kind of like how I did that. So yeah, it's a mix between Skara, the character, which is S-K-A-R-A, -A, I believe. 
and uh, Kara, which is the you know we the, the ship we lost. So yeah, just, that's, oh, I keep going to put stuff in there, but that, that that just answers that question for anyone who was was wondering previously. Uh, we don't have any more capacity inside of this thing, but we might have some more in either the what is this? This is the grinding side of things. Maybe the grinder has more. Um, grinder, you have a little bit more capacity. There we go. Okay, cool. I know I can use the ship's grinder. I know I should be using the ship's grinder, but just for the... Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, I just find it more easy this way. Uh, that being said, what do you have inside of you, if anything? You have a little bit of iron. Okay, thank you. Uh, we'll grind this down now. So this whole front section, for anyone who didn't know, this whole front section will be turned into a command center of sorts. This is where I will be seeing everything. This is where I'll fly the ship from. This is where, again, I'll be able to pilot the ship. I, I think this will be kind of a really cool thing to do. I'm actually really looking forward to flying this thing, finally, once it's uh, once it's done, once it's up and running. Uh, is there anything in the Naquita facility? We have some silver. Okay. And we still have inventory, so we can grind this down if necessary, which we can do. And our inventory should be fine. Um, wait. That's part of the... Is it still existent for, for you guys? Or... Oh, please don't tell me it's bugged out and there's still part of it left. I need to somehow try to figure out how to get up there. Hang on. Um, okay. <laughs> I didn't really intend to... No, oh, I can't do that. We'll, we'll, we'll get rid of that when time comes for it. Oh, uh, what is it down there? Is it just a normal steel block? Looks like it, but it's shiny. Uh, okay, so we'll bring what we have on us back over here again. We'll need to bring, uh, need to make another container. That's what I need to do. Container to store things. So, let's go container. And we have, we have plenty. We have quite a few here. This container looks massive. How do, I mean, what does this actually look like in game? Oh my god. Um, bit, bit too big for my liking, I think. I mean, if I... Got rid of everything, I might have enough room for it, but no thank you. Let's go back to containers again. Uh, container. And we'll look for something a little bit more adequately sized. Uh, 2v2v2, not the worst container sizing, I guess. Um, we have more slim ones. I mean, we'll have a look at the 2v2v2. Sorry, 2x, 2x, 2x. I, I keep saying 2v2, yeah, you, uh, you know what I mean though. Um, and then we'll have, we'll have a look at the, I mean, because I know I can use normal containers, admittingly, but I didn't really want to, because I can use the large ones as well. Uh, we'll have a look at the slim, wait, can slim be used on large? It can be. Okay, and then we'll take down the small, because we, we might just build a temporary one, because building a small container will just be, you know, fine just for taking up a little bit of space here and there. Uh, so you will take up a few spaces like that, you have access points on top and bottom, and then you have you, which is a little bigger, and you have access points for them on one side and four on the other side, but uh, nothing on the side sides. Okay, that isn't too bad of a container, admittingly. So where would I put storage on the ship? So we have the areas down below where we'll have the refining facilities on either side there, which I would, was then thinking I'd have the connectors, uh, not the connectors, sorry. Uh, I was thinking I might have the... Uh, mom, 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 mom the assemblers up here. However, I figured since we are doing a whole production downstairs thing, I was thinking maybe production downstairs. So we'll have just a few refineries here, along here side, and then we'll have uh, a few assemblers over here somewhere, and then we'll have storage upstairs. So if storage is going upstairs, we'll need to kind of figure out where exactly the uh, conveyor tubing would be. And actually, fuck it, I knew I would say it at some point. Uh, <laughs> If I was to grind this down right here, and then go right up to the top, we can potentially build a conveyor system that doesn't necessarily go out the side of the ship, uh, which I think I would much prefer. Because this here is not in the right place. If, if I grind this down even more, you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about here. This isn't lined up in the, in the right way, or in the right place. This is lined up right before them, so I still need to go over by two spaces, which I can't do uh, where we currently are. So, the only option I'm really left with doing is going you know, from downstairs and somehow trying to get it to come across, which I think the best option for that is to have it come up from, again, uh, up from here and go across up to where it actually should be lining up, which is that block right there. Just kind of keep my eye on it. I believe it's this one right here. So, what we'll do is we'll just start putting a few containers up here. We'll put, um, I was thinking which one should we put down here? That would make more sense. Because we've got these flat ones, which you can stack too high, and they have, I don't know what capacity they would have. 
Or we can go with these ones here, which would take up more room, but might potentially have more more space in it. We'll do the thin ones, actually. We'll do the thin one as a trial anyways. We need an interior plate, so we can't even do that even if we wanted to. Oh, uh, no, but we can't grab interior plates, so we'll do that. We'll, um, we'll grab a few out of you. I know you should have some in, in inside of you somewhere. Uh, let's go here for a second. Just to place it down, and then I'll use you to weld it, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting lazy at this point. Uh, we'll put you just quickly over here. So we'll put you down, I get Yeah, we'll put you here. And then if, if needed, because we can then have one on the other side as well, which is kind of what I was thinking of doing, and then stacking up too high, then you have it just a conveyor system, or even small containers sitting in between these. Uh, so we'll just weld them up myself with what I can weld, like that, and we'll get the, we'll get Skara to do the rest of it for me. Uh, can we access Skara? Yeah, from over here. Okay. Uh, Skara, take me, take me up, take me away. Uh, here we go. Up and over. Okay, welding. And not welding anymore. I think it's interior plates that we we are severely lacking uh, in this regard. But we can check if Skara has any inside. I assumed that we may have had some, but I may have put them in the wrong area here. It's in the no, it is in the welder. So maybe it's not what we're missing. Let's have a look here then. Um, so what are we missing? We're missing construction components, surprisingly. Do I not have any more of you, or are they in another place? Actually, if they... Oh, no, I thought they could be transferred around. I actually thought that uh, these were the smaller items that could be. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll grab them myself, then. Uh, and then we'll put them inside of the welder. Because that's... Yeah, that, that's that. Okay, so, um, welder, you're on this side here. I know I need to build a better ship for this sort of management, but for now, it, it handles itself fine. Um, so I can't put this inside the... Oh, hang on, I have to go to, over to the welder. But I was accessing the welder, hang on. No, that's, that's a container, sorry. But I should be able to see the welder from here. Welder, where are you? Welder, there you are. Perfect, okay, so there... I don't know why that took me so long to figure that out. And did I just screw myself over in some way by getting out of the ship from here? I did, didn't I? Um, we'll, um... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to try to either get into the ship another way, like that, or I was going to rotate it around and get into it uh, again. So let's weld this up here, and then that should be it almost done, and I can't do you until I get more construction components. So I thought I would have actually had plenty from grinding down those, uh, what do you what do you want to call it, the, um, the refineries. I assumed I would have had quite a few from that, but it turns out I don't, unless I have some on me, I don't know about it, which I don't. Uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a surprise, they thought, but then again, we did rebuild all of them. Uh, okay, so can we empty out any of these containers? Can we put some inside of another container, like so? And leave this one empty. And then this one should have, um, not that many, sadly. 35 in total. So we might have to make more then, uh, which I can't really see a big issue in doing so. So let's go over here and we'll make some real quick. So we'll make... Oh, that only uses iron. So yeah, I really don't see any issue building, like, plenty, plenty more of these. Uh, and that being said, we'll try to resume welding as much as we can with what we currently have. Uh, whilst that produces what we necessarily need. Uh, so we'll head up here. And then we'll go over here and just try out these. Is this one actually done? No, it isn't. It's nowhere near done. Haha. <laughs> uh, well, at least now it's accessible. So how much do you have? Oh, you have a lot of capacity. Wow, okay. That's a lot more than I was thinking. So I'm going to grind down this now. Just to see where we will line up, well, where we will have to line up the conveyor tubing and whatnot to head up here, which should be too far away from where I'm thinking. Which is, oh wow, I, oh that actually hurt me more than I was thinking. Uh, so yeah, that isn't too far away at all. So what we'll do again is we'll go up here from the wall, go across, and we only really need to get rid of that one extra block that's sitting there, and then we will be perfectly fine. Awesome. Okay, and um, inventory who? Uh, okay, I'll have to empty out my inventory inside of the container. New container, yay! For new containers, new things. Awesome, okay. <laughs> I'll just dump everything in here. I can use a conveyor sorting system, but for now that isn't really in my interest in, in doing so, at least not yet anyway. So we'll grind down what we can here. Oh, sorry. I meant to grind down the light here. Weld you up and that sh Yeah, we'll grind that down once we're actually up above. So get this down here. And I think, because I know I can use the conveyor tubes, which I guess don't look too bad. I was going to just simply use the conveyor blocks itself, 
but we might use conveyor tubes just to make things a little little spiced up a little different so we'll go conveyor and then we'll go with the conveyor tubing which is where exactly oh here I've uh, I'm an idiot um we'll we'll put a conveyor block down the bottom because I, I I know we might need that at some point and we'll have that and then obviously this here as well so for we need interior plate to do that of course we do and then this here we can't rotate around anyways um that being said we can get interior plates from where doesn't Skara still have interior plates we'll just quickly check again a lot of inventory management here but nonetheless we we're doing okay um you have some in the welder which i can't access till i access the welder uh from here okay so yeah i need some of you not no 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 not not you i need you perfect okay and we'll come down here and we'll quickly build what we need to build at least in terms of um perfect and then if things go oh, see i can't get that perspective right necessary for this unless we go oh wow <laughs> i am i'm surprised i even did made that then uh, that being said, though, we still need to get all this done here, for fuck's sake. No, really? That killed me? I was on 80 health the first time I fell down. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm glad this isn't permadeath. Uh, respawn. At least it doesn't respawn me in a place where I fall out of the map again. Um, yeah, that was strange. The first time it didn't kill me, so I was, I was perfectly okay with jumping back down again. So I was left on 80. Uh, let's grab what I can and just kind of push my corpse into outer space. There was actually a message I got earlier today from Keen that was saying that they were going to be updating the uh, the corpses, not the corpses, the um the player models to now support uh, ragdoll physics and whatnot. So they will have to completely rework them, which I think is really really cool. Uh, so I'm actually kind of happy to see that news. They did say it's a bit of a downside as you know it'll take time and they'll have to redo all the models and animations and stuff. But for what it's worth, I'm actually really kind of kind of excited to see what they're going to come what's going to come sorry from having a whole new animation type system and so not animation system but a whole new rigging system which i think would be really really cool uh can we put blocks down from up here see that's my fear we can't so what we can do it's not the best idea i've had but it is one nonetheless okay gonna gonna need you scara for this for this little bit of a weird uh weird thing that i'm gonna do here so, oh, hang on. I need you to park right here for me. Just right, right here. Okay. Perfect. And what we're going to do now is we're going to drop down on top of Skara. Hopefully not damaging Skara in any way. But enough that we'll can, we can use it as a platform. Oh, okay. Um, this is, yes, this is great. Uh, <laughs> uh break in the system oh no we have to we have to get higher to get this done no because we can't rotate it that way um okay scar this is where i'm gonna need you to help me in in a weird way uh did i always leave scar as that i thought i i didn't think i did oh, i guess i must have without even thinking okay i'm gonna have to oh hang on keep up here trying to get yeah we have to go up which we can do so let's go up again i i would like to build a, pl a mobile platform of sorts that would work similar to this though a, a little bit more effective honestly there we go that's what i want to see and that does hurt me a little afterwards which is a little strange but anyway that's now said and done so yeah we'll have to go around to here and then move my big head out of the way, and we should be able to rotate this around. Get that to go there, and we can't do that in my cells, but we can we can access it from up above. Excuse me, corpse. Uh, <laughs> let's head up here, and we'll finish doing the job. Okay. Things are turning out rather well, and what we'll do is we'll go up here like so. Whoa! Didn't mean to double click then. Sorry about that. Uh, there, and then we'll have the um, we'll have you like so. And then obviously again, if we need uh, if we need a second layer there, we'll do that. Uh, but that that that's it. That's that done. Again, what I'm thinking of doing, since we do have all this space up here for for this sort of thing, uh, we could have the conveyor system go up and over to kind of reconnect to the other side. Because I'm kind of wondering 
how I will establish connection from, from one side to the other. And it's either going to be above or below. Below, I know we have a fair amount of space, if I remember correctly, though. I'm not sure how much of it we can necessarily access from where we are. Because we, I mean, I guess that would be the better access point, wouldn't it, from there. So we'd have to go down and under. But what's actually down there, I don't know. I mean, there could be two layers of, uh, two layers of steel, for all I know. We'll have to investigate that uh, some other time. That being said, can I access the seat again from here? Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm going to quickly weld up as much as we can, and that should do it for today's episode. A little bit of progress made on the convey systems. Um, we, grind, we grind down a fair amount as well from the uh, initial room, from Prometheus itself. So I really can't wait to get this thing done. I still haven't named it yet. I know some of you guys are hating the fact that I haven't done that yet. But I'm kind of waiting to see the final product before I actually name it. So, yeah, there you go. I've said actually probably about three or four more times since I said I'm not going to say actually again. Uh, so we need, oh, we need so much to get that done. Construction components like crazy, and motors as well. I don't know, how about you? What do you need? We can't even see you from here. Um, you need motor and construction component, and bulletproof glass as well, which I don't think we have really had a need for. So there's that, that we are currently missing. Are you still making these? They make some, I'm surprised at how slow um, these now make, because I, I assume that the, uh, what do you call it, the piece that we're using, construction components, I assume that they were fast at being produced, but apparently they're quite slow, which is a surprise. Uh, anyway, that being said, that's almost done, and yeah, we'll just need to grab out a few more from the, from the, um, uh, assembler and whatnot. But that, that being said, though, that's, uh, that's this episode done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. A little bit of a, uh, a shorter, more talk, talking focus one as we welded up everything. But uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed working on the ship and focusing on it more so than what I have done so in the past. But yes, so this ship is turning out to be one amazingly beautiful ship. So I'm kind of I'm kind of happy with this how this has actually turned out. I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous to see this thing like this all could all combine and such. I mean, I I don't know whether it was intended to be combined like that, but to see it combined like that in such a way and it just looks really really cool. So that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Tell some everyone.